I am a mobile RV technician. I do a lot of dealer support, so I don't do too much mobile RV repair. Uh, when I do mobile RV repair, it's generally in the East Valley of Arizona. It's generally going to be within a 25, 40 mile radius of uh, Mesa, Arizona. Uh, but today I have a client that needs a little bit more of a uh, service call outside my normal area. I agreed to do it. So let's get over there and I'll explain what's going on. Where, where do you think this stupid motorhome is going to be? Oh, she's a... Hey guys, I made it. Arkansas. That's a heck of a uh, service call. 1,300 miles, two flights, and a rental car to get this motor home. Let me uh, get situated and see if I can explain a little bit what's going on. All right, well, the good news is it started up just fine. It's been sitting here for a few weeks. Uh, we got low air. We'll let this thing build up and see if I get the generator going. At least get some, uh, make sure I have good power. Let me just kind of just show, tell you what's going on. Basically, the passenger side rear suspension is not airing up. And uh, you can't drive this very far without that working. So I don't know if you can see how low that rides right there. So I guess maybe, looks like it's low on both sides. I got the air pressure built up. On the front, we're good. We got a lot of space there and the airbags are aired up for sure. Okay, there. Back here. That airbag is not aired up at all. Yeah, that one's uh, pretty flat. And so is that one. On this Beaver Marquee, this has a valid uh, air leveling and hydraulic leveling on it. Now. When this is not in leveling mode, it should be in travel mode, letting air go to the right right height control valve. But that's not happening. The hope is that it's just a control issue. Uh, I brought a few parts with me. I didn't bring any tools. And I'm hoping that this is, solves the problem. If not, I'm going to have to bypass the lines and hope that it's not a bad airbag. Those are my fir first hopes. Let me try this first. I got a few touch pads in here to try. I have wanted to stop and tell you guys what's going on but it seems fraudulent to take time out of uh, somebody's very expensive uh, service call to film too much so let me get these things unscrewed so I'm hoping in the picture this screw is really rusty you can see some rust on that right there I'm hoping that there's just water damage to this board is that a weird thing to say that I'm hoping for damage to the board don't see any water damage so that's not encouraging let me unhook this thing and we'll see what we can do I don't see any damage I go ahead and that's an O for the original one looks like the same one let's try this out see how we do let me go ahead and hook those up Okay, power on. No, I'm still gonna do the same thing, isn't it? Oh, nope. Look at that travel, travel light turned on. Let's go in the back and see if that did it. Oh, that feels stiff. That feels stiff. I think we're adding air, guys. See, the air pressure looks like it's coming out. Let's see if we add air. Oh, we got air going in that one. We got air going in that one. We're really leaning hard on the passenger side. Uh 
Uh-oh, we're coming up. Well, that was uh, best case scenario. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but we're already up an inch. I think, we're, I think we solved the problem. I think we troubleshot it really well. Now that I kind of have a minute, let me try to explain what's going on here. One of my uh, one of my big customers is a dealer, and they were picking up a rig from the East Coast. I think from uh, Louisiana. I don't know exactly where. Their driver flew over, picked it up, and drove. And uh, while they were driving, the rear suspension, which is air air suspension on this bus or this marquee, lost all air pressure. So he was driving all crooked down the highway. We found a place to safely get off the road because you can't drive it very far without air, airbags. The problem is that it happened in Arkansas where there wasn't a lot of uh, available road service to, to get that looked at. And the biggest problem is that, and why I'm here, is that when it comes to the chassis, yeah, most diesel technicians know how air leveling works much better than I will ever have an idea how to work. But because this has the valid air leveling system in it, most chassis guys have no idea how the air leveling system works or the manifolds work on, on making uh, the system work again. Uh, even more so when you're kind of far removed from a very large center and you're trying to get mobile service to take a look at it. Most RV guys uh, on the chassis side know air, uh, the, the chassis side again, but it's that air leveling, it's a, it's a small little uh, uh, overlap between chassis and RV, and a lot of RV techs don't even know how air leveling works, let alone chassis guys that don't know how the air leveling works. So it's like this, this little void of uh, really useful support outside of large uh, centers where they would know they work on the system a lot more because Air leveling, for whatever reason, is associated with luxury high-end buses. I personally like jacks, but it has nothing to do with what we're doing. So I actually volunteered to help my customer out, mostly because if you guys watched my road trip with my Allegro Wild Red, well, not my Allegro Red, but the one I took Allegro Red on, uh, I really enjoyed that cross-country trip, and I wanted to do it again. And I wanted to get out of that Arizona heat. So that's a win for me do doing this, and it's a fun adventure. But two, he needs some help because it's been stuck here at this Love's in uh, Arkansas for a couple weeks now. And that's not someplace you want to abandon an expensive RV. So I'm trying to do my best to help out. And I think we fixed it already. So let's go back, see if we built up some air pressure. All right, we're at a truck stop. So all the trucks are idling. It's not a, nobody's fault. Hopefully you guys can hear me. So it is running. We should have air pressure built up, but you can see it is le leaning pretty hard. I'm going to try to move this forward to try to jostle, uh, jostle the right height control valves and see if that helps. But we were adding air to the airbags where there wasn't before. Okay, let's just drive this forward a little bit. Sometimes the right height control valve is a little lever that keeps you level to the road kind of get stuck in a position, especially if it's been sitting for a while. So hopefully we, I can just drive it forward and maybe that'll jostle it. All right, well we did that. Let's go see if that did anything. Uh, it sure seems like we're uh, leaning still. But it's definitely hard to say in this position. Well, I feel like we actually are a little bit higher now. We do have air in the airbags. That's a good sign. And air in that airbag. Air in that one. Air in that one. That one's obviously overinflated. Along with that one. Before I drive it anymore, let me just see if I can make the system work this way. I can lower the driver's side. 
I can raise the passenger side. I can feel us moving. Oh yeah, much better. All right, so that's good news. That means the airbags can hold air, the airlines hold air, and the valves operate. So that's all good news. Everything else we can deal with. Let's uh, see if we can't make this thing work. All right, I'm gonna pull this thing out and let's see if we get level on different ground. Okay. Definitely do feel like we're still leaning pretty hard to the uh, passenger side. All right, let me go ahead and put this in neutral. Good. Now, the front looks pretty good. The back's maybe a little low. But the back on that side's way too high. And this definitely is high. All right, so here's my plan. We can definitely limp it home just like this, but I'm gonna try to get underneath and take a look at the right height control valve because I think maybe because of how it was driven, it might have stressed out one of the valves and uh, undid the, uh, the setting on it. And so the driver's side is, is maxing out, which is gonna pass, uh, uh, affect the front end on the, uh, the, dry, the, pass the, front end on the passenger side because the uh, rear end on the driver's side is maxed out. So I'm gonna go back there and if there's one key, never, ever, ever get underneath one of these things where you can get crushed if the airlines break. Because that, I at least know one person that's died from that, and it's more common than you think it could happen. So I'm going to go position myself under the axles and just take a look real fast and show you guys what's going on. So... I volunteered, so I... Real car. That's got her. What are you doing? Video taping? Oh, I gotta feed the content monster. Oh.